on that site ever since. 1971 they altered the pub and that seemed to revive good old George. The landlady was a very attractive woman. <coughs> she used to complain that whenever she was alone in the house she always felt somebody watching her. Never saw anything until one night when she just had a bath. As she stepped out of this bath she was drying herself like this when she suddenly felt a furry thing on her ankle. And this furry thing on the inside of her leg <coughs> and then disappeared. She thought maybe it was the breeze from an open window which fluttered a towel about. So she shut the window and carried on. This time, no mistake, she felt her hand stroking a bottom. So she spun round to face nothing, but behind her was a mirror. And in the mirror she could see the reflection of a man, long black hair and a white shirt, grinning and laughing. Ah! <laughs> screaming to face him, nobody there. But back in the mirror, and there he was again this time, leaving the bathroom, giggling and laughing as he left. She left. Strange things go on there still today, particularly in the ladies' toilets. Mm. Uh, you can imagine that the Castle Museum that come themselves as a present about it. I do lots of work for television. You have to ring me up and ask me all kinds of questions on folklore, legends, ghost stories. We did a big piece with the most thick cathedral. You can go right to the top and you can see forever. Or you can go deep down below and see the Roman remains. We have massive Roman remains. It's the only city outside modern day Italy where two emperors were to die, where another emperor was proclaimed emperor. Ivaracum, Roman York, the most northerly city in the great Roman Empire. This Roman column was found beneath the south side of the Minster in the 1960s. It was re-erected here to mark the south <coughs> corner of the Roman Basilica. So if you imagine a great row going across there and a row here pierced to the palace, not discovered until the 60s. In 1953, a French...